boys today we're gonna be talking about 10 things which i don't like in forza horizon 5 that being said i do love the game number one the headlights as you can see right now it's dark outside the pop-up headlights are open however when it gets daytime they close and you can't manually control the headlights the only way you can have these open headlights during daytime is when you go inside of a tunnel because it's dark in a tunnel Oh. I'm gonna be parking here for a minute and as you just saw the headlights closed automatically and there's no way I can put them back on there's only one thing you can do now we're gonna go into the tunnel so I can show you right now it's daytime the pop-ups are down what we can do is go into the tunnel and check it out we are in a tunnel pop-ups are open because our camera is inside of a tunnel if we move the camera outside of the tunnel the pop-ups close right there we go let's go outside closed inside open very weird but yeah if you want pop-ups i guess you gotta stay inside of a tunnel buy pop-up headlights oh all right boys number two convoy system in the game is so bad if you have played in forza horizon 5 with other people in the convoy you know the struggle it's like did you get the invite did you get it did you get it now are you in oh you're in wait i got disconnected wait you got disconnected oh god it's so messy sometimes you get disconnected randomly right and when you invite your friend to a race and he forgot to accept the convoy gets cancelled as well i don't know it's so weird honestly it would be very cool if we had like a server system like in a set of corza or like carrex right i would pay money to have my server people get to join with the password that'd be lovely right i know they can't like delete the convoy system and make it completely different but they could definitely get their heads together and improve it a little bit right sometimes the other players just disappear next to you and then the next minute they're right back all right boys number three the steering wheel and boys look at this camera and compare it to the in-game wheel now and that's it if you have a 900 degree steering wheel then it doesn't do much here it looks weird drifting in first person view because of this reason right interior looks fantastic it's just the steering wheel it doesn't turn 900 degrees in the game the same was in previous forza horizon 4 games as well it only goes 90 degrees either way i really hope in the next forza horizon series they're gonna fix that come on it can't be that difficult right number four the daylight and nighttime cycle boys why can't we change the weather what is up with that for some reason we can't change the daytime and nighttime cycle i don't know why like sometimes you want to play when it's nice and bright sometimes you want to do street racing when it's dark outside right so basically you gotta wait like half an hour right i get it if we can't do this online i understand but if i play in solo you can go into online you can go horizon solo right can't i change the daytime nighttime cycle at least in the solo version at least like an option like freeze the weather a little checkbox i click it yes the weather has been frozen at least something you know it's a little frustrating all you can do is wait and the same goes with like weather conditions when it's raining you can't stop the rain i don't think that'd be too difficult to implement at least in this solo version right number five there is no limo in the game come on why is there no limo in the game i think the first forza clips i saw were like a limo tandem it was fun to watch limo's big sausage cars doing tandems there is not a single limo car in the game currently maybe they can add that you know that'd be lovely so there is a limo in forza horizon 4 but not in 5 and obviously some other cars have been removed as well same with body kits some body kits have been removed all right boys number six there are multiple places where you can drag race none of these drag race areas which you can see on the map have drag lights let's go to here for example so here there used to be drag lights boys if you don't believe me i can show you a clip previously there used to be drag lights somewhere over here right for example this clip there is a working drag light system it would be so fun to like pair up with your buddies just wait for the green light and go i don't know why they removed that none of the drag strips in forza horizon 5 have these drag lights i wish they could add it back all right boys number seven the ghosted cars going to horizon life you will be seeing ghosted cars
cars of other players and we can't remove it but you gotta be in the online if you want to play with your friends so if you just want to cruise around with your bodies that are in your convoy and nobody else you can't do that your bodies will be there with you but also some random ghosted cars that just appear out of nowhere there should be an option to remove ghosted cars in the game good example right here some random ghosted cars they appear ghosted, sometimes they're not ghosted, it's just weird. And these dudes are not even in my convoy. This dude is ghosted, the other dudes are not ghosted. The biggest issue is they won't disappear when you do a convoy with the players. Look at that, little uh, 360 there for you guys as well. Yeah, it just would be lovely if we could get rid of the ghosted cars. Let me guys know what you think about that. Alright boys, number 8 is about drift zones. There are drift zones in the game. When you complete the drift zone, then your score will be compared to your friends. So if your friend has completed the same drift zone, you will see their score as well. What bothers me is all-wheel drive will always get higher points than rear-wheel drive cars. It's so much easier to get higher points with an all-wheel drive car than a rear-wheel drive car. This, for example, is a rear-wheel drive car. So for example, if you like drifting in Forza Horizon and you only use rear-wheel drive cars, you can't really compete with your friends because if they have used an all-wheel drive car they're gonna beat you anyway the scores should be separated so this is a drift zone for example let me do this right i'm gonna do a sloppy run because i haven't been in forza horizon 5 in a while also i'm gonna try to do no handbrake no handbrake challenge let's see how that goes yep that is a sloppy run as you can see uh, but yeah a little short drift run over here oh god yep Okay, well, there was a surprise 360 as well. <laughs> the point is, this is the end of the drift zone, right? I get my points, and now I will be compared to someone else who has 200,000 points. And by the way, I confirmed it, he was using an all-wheel drive car. And that dude wasn't even trying there. He was just doing a couple of runs with all-wheel drive car. I'd like to see them separated. All-wheel drive cars and rear-wheel drive cars. This way, I think it would be fun to see if you could beat your friend's score, right? Knowing that the other dude was also using a rear-wheel drive car. Am I crazy, guys? Let me know. Number 9, boys. Why in the world can't we change the density of the smoke? Sometimes the smoke can be a little too aggressive. I've heard it bothers other players as well. The smoke can sometimes be just a little too much. There is less smoke when it's rainy, by the way. For example, in car wrecks, you can basically just... And I just got rammed there. Okay, lovely. In car wrecks, drift racing online, for example, there is an option. From 0 to 100, you can just slide the smoke density. I like this option a lot. Or even just an option to disable the smoke at all. Just add like a checkbox option, remove smoke. Especially in like tandem trains. In tandem, when the other guy is in front of you, it generates so much smoke. Alright boys, number 10. Drift story mode. In Forza Horizon 5, there is only street racing. This is the closest we can do. Horizon Adventure, I believe. Yeah, we have street racing. This is the closest we can do. We can do these events. There is a lot of drifters in Forza as well. It would be cool to have some drift races. Like in the old Need for Speed days, right? There were like proper drift races. But like built into the story mode as well. Like you gotta complete it. The same way as you would do the street racing one. The street racing storyline was pretty fun. We need one more here for drifting, right? So we get a bunch of drift races and drift challenges as well number 11 why are you not subscribed to goosiest guys subscribe make sure you drop that like as well and as always stay sideways